God our Creator, we come together in this sacred space. We come to share memories, our past. We come to share a meal, our present. We come to dream dreams, our future. We stand on the shoulders of our sisters who have gone before us, and we thank them. Well, indeed, welcome. It is wonderful and a gift to be here. Another gift this evening is being right here in this, our new Sarah Hall. Wasn't the original Sarah Hall a very special place? It was in the 50s. I came to the convent in 1950. So throughout all those 50s, when we were here on campus, and then when we would go out to mission and come back in the summertime, one of the highlights was uh, going to the recreation in Sarah Hall and doing square dancing. Sarah Hall provided opportunities for us to learn and dance waltzes, polkas, and square dancing participate in sing-alongs, and create and perform plays. It was also the place where we wrapped and decorated Christmas gifts for our families with traditional Christmas music playing in the background, but absolutely no jazzy numbers allowed. A visit from our parents and folks on a Sunday afternoon was the highlight of the, of the year or the summer. So Sarah Hall has a very uh, loving memory for that. Well, visiting Sunday was always fun because when we came in Sarah Hall, we never knew who was going to be there. It could just be our family or sometimes it was our relatives and friends. And I especially remember one visiting Sunday, my mom brought a beautiful cake and all the trimmings for a birthday party. Well, unbeknown to me, my neighbors were there, my grandma was there, my cousins were there, and the little babies I used to babysit too. And so I can just picture us all huddled around those tables. They were pushed together, and we just had a grand time. This was the place we would go for instructions. And Sister Stana saw us at that time, who was not mother yet. She would teach us how to be prim and proper as young sisters. Uh, going out into the public, uh, whether it's going out to the stores or shopping, but also mainly going out to our mission, wherever it was, especially traveling on the uh, uh, train. Uh, how to wear, always, always to wear your black gloves. Always have your hands covered. Always to wear your mantle in a certain way. And if you had to have a, a headpiece, a, a covering, how to, how to put that onto your head or your um, veil. Sister Barbara Ann told me this delightful story of Sister Armella naming the new kitchen St. Joseph Hall. And on top of one of the refrigerators in St. Jo Joseph Hall was this beautiful statue of St. Joseph. We also heard the tradition that under the statue, Sister Armella had planted a dollar bill. And so in our new kitchen, we have St. Joseph on top of, a re of the refrigerator standing on a dollar bill. You know, so many wonderful things can go on in here in this new Sarah Hall. Some will be scheduled, just like uh, the ice cream social, but others could be spontaneous. We don't have to ask anybody to be on the schedule. This is a room open for us. So you can have potluck here, birthday party, card party, uh, game night. In fact, sisters Paula, Shannon, and I are already thinking about a sing fest event where you could just come and you could sing. But we have lots of opportunity ahead, so let's use the room. It's going to be here for us. So we're 